Hello my friends and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In today's video we are going to have the compilation of my exploration extravaganza. It is going to include lots of random interactions, lots of follow-up with some old faces, lots of random locations finding random things, and ending on what I would define a very bittersweet note. I do want to also point out before I forget that I did actively use the internet to find some of these locations. I I, I went down a rabbit hole a little bit on the internet and in a very good way. But you will have to let me know in the comments below which interaction, discovery, location was your favorite in today's video. Here you go and I, I hope you enjoy. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? <laughs> what? He's still here looking for Gavin? You're not dead, sir? Out of the damn way! Where Look is out. he? That ain't no proper I, I, attire. I'm looking for my mate Gavin. I can't believe my own. Somebody mind. help me! <laughs> Gav? Gav? Fellers? Hey, partner. I've That's lost not my a friend. Human blood, is it? Somebody right help there, me, sir. please! Where is he? Where is Gavin's friend at? Howdy, mister. Hello. I'm. I'm looking for my friend. Are you Gavin? <laughs> Okay. Has he been gone long? Uh, yeah. A few years. A few bloody years. I can't, um, I can't remember what he looks like. I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I've wasted my life. i wasted my life looking. I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. Gavin. Good luck. Yeah. Gavin. Oh, I am oh, so worried. Oh, Gavin. Gav. Gav. Um, it does make you wonder, is he actually Gavin? Gav. And he's just lost his marble. Where are you? <laughs> There's... Oh, the poor guy. I feel like he, he needs all sorts of help. There's a newspaper seller here again. Do I have another newspaper? Looking to buy? Yeah. All the things. Okay, Blackwater Ledger number 73. Well, <laughs> Must have been 72 one. last oh. time. <laughs> oh, I can't believe he didn't die yet. Wait, inspect mysterious Where writing? Where is this mysterious writing at? I don't understand. Is there another vampire? <laughs> Where is the mysterious writing at? This is really worrying me. Oh. Gavin! Um, well, we'll, we'll read it all later, but it just looks like a bunch of... What is it? Like the Aztec sort of symbols? Oh, that's strange writing. That is... <laughs> would never have noticed that. Thank you, game. Get away from me now! Fuera! What? Okay, okay. What happened? Going on. Oh, it's a puma. I'm a good cowboy. You okay there, sir? You're. You okay. Good luck with it. Oh, oh! You don't want the. Can I leave you? You don't want the pelt. I mean, it's okay. I'll take it. <laughs> More for me, right? What is this over here? Blow it. Oh, hang on. Inspect the wreckage. Circus wagons? Oh no! Found a wagon from a circus, all lost and abandoned. Oh no! Oh, show bank debt. How much do I have? Uh, amount total owed $465. Well, we should be able to pay that off soon enough, right? Although, <laughs> I have no bounties or anything, but. Oh, is it Miss Margaret? 
Is that, was that her, his, her name? Their name? What is it? I can't. Traveling between world, worlds since the dawn of time. Oh, fit your brother. So not Miss Margaret. Traveling circus and minstrel show. Um. I, 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 I do kind of wonder where the animals that were in these, um, in, in, in these wagons, where, where they went to. You're okay, Rachel. No need to panic. Okay, well that is right here. I have managed to explore almost all of over here. I did miss a little bit, but we'll go back later and do that. Light the fires! We got one! Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Where are they? There is this guy here who I'm missing. Now I got one. Alright, there's another guy. Oh, oh there, there, there's another one. Stupid Skinner people. Yeah, I know. We got him. There's another guy there. Oh, there you are. There's this guy here. Doing great, Rachel. Um, I need. Oh. Um, dead eye tonic snake oil. We'll take that. I am so bad at aiming today. <laughs> I'm all like twitchy. Doing great. Keep wanting to say Wednesday, but you're not Wednesday. You're not even still not Wednesday. Oh, these Skinner guys with their bows, they're like lethal. You're all right. Okay, so I'm here by past Manzanita Post. Well, I'm gonna go loot some bodies because um, John needs some money to pay off his bank loan. What the heck? Oh my gosh. They tied him to trees and then there's all these bodies right here that I I I, I found after my Skinner ambush. <gasps> I mean it's hard to see because it's so dark, but like he's tied upside down. This guy's tied across the tree. Oh my gosh. This is, are they lootable? They should not be lootable. Oh my gosh, that's awful. Well, that, that's disgusting. I mean, this is like, you guys need some help, I'm just saying. What is this over here? Yes, hitch my horse, because I need good horse karma. Good work today. that is that like wapiti homes or something maybe inspect site wikia hmm. okay well i'm over by the yeah there was another legendary fish <laughs> not probably not just three dots interesting you know at least here we got like a what looks like a, a wagon, but here I only get three dots. That's okay. Well, um, I'm going to stop by Evelyn's cabin and then make my way down here-ish and hopefully find something. No. Oh no, more of these Skinner guys. Oh no, no, God, oh, you killed me. And you as well. You all right, ma'am? You okay? The least I can do, ma'am. Thank you, mister. 
You saved my life. I'm going to be on my way now. I'm never coming back. Yes. You should not be around here. Especially, I, I feel like I saw <laughs> Thieves Landing. Yeah, I definitely want to go there. <laughs> but like these Skinner people, the Skinner gang is just absolutely horrible. Holy crap. Well done. Okay, well, I guess I'll help us. Uh... I got some business with the sheriff. And we'll shoot you. And we'll shoot you. We'll shoot that guy, too. Oh, my. Oh, my. If it wasn't for you, sir, if it wasn't for you, how lucky we are. The hero we so required. Apparently. He's indebted to you. Though I fear maybe beyond Satan. Maybe. Your your town is on fire, I don't sir. Know what you made of that? But it was a close thing. And in light of that, and the sad demise of this settlement, I am resigning my post. What? <laughs> now you will see that I packed my valise. But the accoutrements of my profession remain in my desk. Okay. Glad I was able to help you out, Bye. That, Sheriff. Said you won't stick around. The Undertaker. Well, so long. I'm gonna see about the train. He's just walking off. He's just like, I'm out. Okay, he said the accoutrement of his profession is on his desk. Let's 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 loot said desk. Search the desk. <laughs> I'll take the silver. I gotta find a fence. Or go all the way back to, like... I feel like somebody mentioned that there's something in Emerald Ranch I need to go and find now. There's another drawer. Potent bitters. Okay. Some more drawers. Oh, it looks like Evelyn Miller is back on my map, I think. I mean, it has been several days in game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't take I gotta I gotta get I gotta get cards. I'm I'm really trying to get those cards. So let's see. Bag. Um cigarettes. I can discard all. Somebody mentioned I'd be able to get a bigger bag and I have yet to find it. I found the the a trapper down here, but I have yet to find a way to purchase said bigger bag. So I have Senator Thaddeus Waxman. All right, let's put that away. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna poke around what what's left of the town of Armadillo. I feel like it was mentioned in some newspaper article, but now we're here. We can, it's definitely, um, it reminds me of where I live in the desert, only it's a little bit greener <laughs> than where I live, but uh, okay, we're gonna poke around for a while. The town is sick. Stay away. Stay away! <laughs> like he's like ringing a bell. Hello? Order. Hey, friend. Place is full of cholera. Head in there at your own peril. Well, half the town has died, and most of the rest have fled. Still? Sure. A few years ago, it was the scarlet fever. Then it was the desert plague. Then typhus. Now the cholera. Bad business. Some folks say the whole town is cursed. Apparently. All town's got cholera! Here, you can read for yourself. Oh, can I? Thank, thank you. Take pamphlet. Thank you. I'm, I'm gonna try to read the document right in front of him. <laughs> Notice to Armadillo Town citizens. I advise you to step back. I'm cholera. certainly contaminated. Published by order of the new Austin Sanitary Committee. Do not drink any water which has not previously been boiled. Avoid consumption of fruits, beans, and vegetables. Cholera! What? Drink ardent spirits Boy, in moderation. The cholera! Only smoke good and clean All tobacco. Of you be careful. 
Remove Beep socks. Pal. Get out of here. <laughs> Remove socks and boots while sleeping. Refrain from sharing bath water with others, even family members. Attend immediately to disorders of the bowels. Defecate neatly and away from common yeah, living areas. I wouldn't stand too close. I'm probably infected myself. Probably. Residents who are able to leave the area are advised to do so by order of A. Abbott, clerk of sanitary committee. Well, that explains why um, everybody around here is puking. Down right away, sir. It's dangerous. No rooms. Nothing. Oh no. Hey, Lobos! That's how about that? I shot you in the back of the head. Are your friends gonna come? Because I can shoot them in the back of the head too. I've left the Skinner gang area and now it's all Del Lobo gang. I mean, look, I came and found this cute little chapel down here. Coots Chapel, though. It was so cute. And apparently it was a gang holdout. But, um, well, <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> well, I am here now at Two Crows, and there's more Del Lobo gang to shooting people, probably. And apparently there's a corpse of interest. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. A donkey lady. What is a donkey lady? What was this poor thing? Who would do such a thing to any creature? I... What? It's like they took skeletal parts and put them together. I mean, like, this place is just strange. Super strange. <laughs> I'm like, it's just all sorts of weird down here. Got your hair. Boy! <laughs> oh, you got lucky there. But next time you come around these parts, you lose your top and more than that besides. Next time I won't let myself get bushwhacked. Mock me, boy. You weren't so brave a minute ago. <laughs> you guys are so creepy. Like, you and the Murphy brood should, like, hang out. Because you're both weird together. Just say it. I'm up here by Rattlesnake Hollow, and there is a weapon in here. Erotic photograph? What? Another erotic photograph. And another one. Oh my goodness, I found somebody's corn stash. <laughs> Can I have the gun already? Uh, Otis Miller's revolver. Sure. What is that about? A rare Schofield revolver made of gold and ivory and adorned with custom engravings found inside a cave in Hollis Springs. This weapon appears to have once been owned by the famed gunslinger Otis Miller. This gun has an ammo capacity of six rounds and can do all kinds of extra things. Wow. Okay. Um... I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to, uh... Oh, I can't use it? I'm scantily clad women? Is it because I'm, is it because I'm crouched and I need to leave first? Um... No, that's the map. B for bag. Well, there's one. There you go. Put that one away. How about this one? These are some scantily clad ladies. I don't know. I don't know if this is safe for YouTube. <laughs> oh, I could read. No, there's nothing to read. <laughs> it's like, I mean, strategically placed apples, right? <laughs> I mean, that. Don't. All right, last one. That one's that one's the most risque one I think I've seen of the of the batch. <laughs> what is the, what is that? Is that a plane? Let up. What? 
Wreckage, yeah. Charles Kinnear flying machine. Found a flying machine. Needless to say, it had it had crashed. Yes, it has crashed. I'm I'm right here. I, I last saw you up here. And there there's just corpses. Well, I I should probably go investigate this corpse. I wonder if it's the pilot from this flying machine. Sheriff! Look what I found! God, He's in the oh, down low gang! Them ten oh, stars in Mexico, boy! Hey! Hey! What's all the nonsense? You don't release me Keep now. Your distance. We Twelve got angry business Mexicans here. is gonna ride through this town. Burn it all to hell. Only lock me up if you want this town to burn, Sheriff. <laughs> we do not respond amicably to threats. Yeah. What's the charge? He was robbing a stage. Then the sentence is death. Uh-oh. Make hey, your peace, no! partner. No! The boy was gonna put me in cell! This is wartime, and like you said... No! <gasps> we can't take the risk. Uh... Sheriff? Okay. From now on, trials are going to be quick, and justice even quicker. We will not submit to these lawless games. Get this trash out of town. Where there's one Del Lobo, there'll be more. Yes, sir, Sheriff. Now you can be a help or a hindrance. You want to help? Follow me in. Um. Okay. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. I'm in Tumbleweed, by the way. That's where I've managed to stumble my way down to. Oh, he, it's a bounty. Oh, I'll come back. We'll come back and do bounties. Uh-oh. Si un capo a un lado. Oiga, bandido. ¿Quién es el bandido? Dude, why are you like you ran into me? Ow! Ah, no, 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 no. Guys like totally ran into my horse. Called for. That was probably my own default. <laughs> well, I am right about here ish, and there was a corpse on my map that required to be inspected, of course. And now I'm inspecting it for my journal, and it's a Jesuit missionary. Found a poor man from a long time ago. Chilled me for some reason. Well, I mean. It's a very desiccated corpse, so yeah, it probably should. I'm covered in mud because I keep going down mountains. Cause that's just my luck in life. It's an, can I loot him or is it just uh Oh I can loot him. Letter to Brother Rodolfo. Let's read this. Madrid, November 24th, 1797. Whoa! My dear brother Rodolfo, although I feel like it should probably be in Spanish, but maybe maybe John can read Spanish. Thank you for your letter. Sometimes politics and the ways of the church are not as pure as perhaps you wish they were. The world is the world of men. Yes, you say God has given it to us, but we must live in the world as it is amongst men some of who are both very powerful and not entirely receptive to our message. Such is the king at this time, or at least so are his envoys. No idea who the king of Spain is at that point. Probably a Philip. I feel like there were lots of Philips in, in the, in the kings of Spain history. Anyway, moving on. Perhaps my weakness is a terrible sin and the concessions I granted them will lead me to hell as you suggest, but equally it is possible that your pride is also perhaps a little sinful. I do not know. 
I have learned that we are at our most vulnerable when we judge others harshest. I beg you to reconsider your plan to leave the mission. We need your energy here amongst men. Perhaps, as you say, God calls you from the East as he once called the Magi. But firstly, I would like to remind you the Magi traveled West and your journey from the mission is an extremely perilous one. Like you, I believe in acts of blind faith, but unlike you, I do not believe God wants us to be stupid. <laughs> Please stay in California until I arrive next March. I implore you to show wisdom, loyalty, and humility at this profound, difficult time for all of our brotherhood in the new world and to refrain from making this perilous and vain, glorious journey alone. Our very survival depends upon it. Sincerely, Cardinal Blanco. So I did a quick Google and the King of Spain in 1797 appears to have been Charles the fourth or Carlos the fourth, the hunter son of Charles the third. Okay. Well, there you go. There was the actual King of Spain. It wasn't a Philip. I was wrong, but it was a good guess. Right? Anyway. <laughs> Hello. You there. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I sure would, sir. I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Sure. Uh, I'm no gunslinger, all right. But I do like a challenge. What are you thinking then? Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready. Okay. All right? <laughs> Shoot! Yeah, I'm gonna use my dead eye. Oh, I can't. There. Ah! The game keeps pulling me away. Or, and then, come on, come on! Ah! Got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some jolly jack, though. Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? <laughs> Just a better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. Oh, no. All. How about we raise the stakes, huh? Uh, sure. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a good call, amigo. Okay. Whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first wins. Simple enough? Sure. Stand near me. And as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Boot. Man, stupid, stupid. Yay! Ah, ah so you can shoot, huh? I can. <laughs> ah, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Thank you. I am taking the money. Appreciate it. Thank sure. you, sir. <sighs> Better watch on next time. You'll see. Look, sir, if you don't use your dead eye, that is totally your problem, not mine. <laughs> John needs the money. He's got a bank loan to pay off. That, um... I, I don't feel like that's a dinosaur boat. <laughs> Th th them some sperm whale bones in the middle of the desert. I mean, <laughs> a whale in the desert. Another thing I don't understand. Me either. I just feel like those things aren't supposed to happen. You never listen to me. It's like talking to a goddamn wall. What do you want me to do? I don't want you to work in that mine no more, okay? Would you rather go back to thieving? Hmm? I'm providing for my family. Well, you can't provide for us if you ain't got no lungs. And what if it caves in again? Hi, everybody. You two all right? Well, I told you a hundred times already. Gathering some notice. It'll get better. Yeah, sure. Enough. And who's gonna... Now, I'm not putting on a show for the whole town. Is there a man in this town who ain't a moron? I, I don't know, actually. He's scared. He just wants to provide for you. Good job's hard to find. A good job? Caking your lungs for a couple of dollars a week? Scared or not, he's gonna ruin us both. That idiot. I love him and I hate him. 
every day, covered in soot, coughing half the night. <laughs> oh, that's uh. Yeah, that's 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 Does pretty bad. Does he really think Jameson or any of the others give a damn whether he lives or dies? They don't actually, <laughs> probably. Well, good luck to you. Good luck. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> These stranger interactions are so awkward sometimes. None of you seem to be listening. I've been here for five years or more now, and the world Hello, is sir. getting worse. Listen to me. This is not a joke. Read this book. Oh, another book? <laughs> is it going to be like well, uh Excuse me. Hello, scientist. Hello. Read this book. It is the future of American science. Is it? Can I, do I have to pay for it? Thank you. He's very proud of his book. Hopes of the future, hopes for the future. Listen to me, listen to me. Danger Sir, of illuminating oils. Madam, gather around, I'm a, gather we're around. slaves. American I ingenuity no dams us all. For my oh, testament. okay. Um, for my testament is science, and science is God, sir. <laughs> so help me, God, so strike me down. Dr. McIntosh. We are killing ourselves. Killing ourselves fast and hard and nasty. Oh, okay. Off you, me, sir. The world is in balance, and the balance is off. I know it sounds crazy, but look around you. Yeah. Look around. And land. Actually, I should probably come and see if the newspaper kid has anything new for me. Nope, he doesn't. Not. Laugh not. Deride not. I speak go, the truth. Okay, bye, Dr. McIntosh. You're going to inspect this rock here. Old world scripts. Saw this, wonder who wrote it, and what they were saying. I don't see anything on it. Ah, here it is. Oh, it's like Viking-esque. Maybe they were like early explorers, you know, who came to this red dead world, perhaps. I am, I'm currently right here, just north of Ainsburg. Okay, we are up near Willard's Rest, and I want to see if Charlotte is doing okay, and if she'll talk to me at all as John. Well, there seems to be somebody hey, hey, living easy. here. Can I not get off? I'm like, why can't I get off the dang horse? Well, there she is. Hello there. Hi, Can Charlotte. I help you? Uh, I think you knew a friend of mine, a fella called Arthur Morgan. Came by and helped you with some hunting and skinning probably seven or eight years back. Yes, of course. Or I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for him. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, he passed soon after. I figured he might not have had long life. Such a shame. He found me at my lowest point, and he lifted me up. Glad to see you're doing well, ma'am. He wrote fondly of you. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Listen, it's a long way out here. You're welcome to take whatever you need from the house for your travel. No, no, that ain't necessary. Please, I have everything I need and more. But he gave me the ability to survive, and now I'm writing. Any friend of Arthur's is a friend of mine. Please take something. It would make me happy. I, I will take something. Well, that's very kind of you, ma'am. I will. Because I feel like I'm out of everything. Oh, you got cigarettes. <laughs> I, I could use some of those. If I can pick them up, that is. I can't. Dang it. All right, let's delete my cigarettes again. Um, no. Premium. Discard all. There we go. Escape. Okay, premium cigarettes. Give me one that I don't have yet, please. 
Famous gunslinger. And it is Billy Midnight. Pretty, pretty sure I have that one. Okay, what else can we take? Not to like Raider House, but if she's doing so great, then clearly she doesn't mind, right? I feel like John should have come up here and built a cabin next to Miss Charlotte. And then things would have just been better. Like she could have taught them how to survive because clearly they're, they're not doing so well. Okay, another premium cigarette. Hard that I don't have, please. Please, please, please. It is the camera. Not sure if I have that one. It's not popping up. So to me, that means I I do have it and I can, I need to delete some more. Um, why don't we just discard all of them? And then we'll discard those as well. Now I can take. Oh, a fauna card. It's the catfish. Oh, I've already turned those in. <laughs> well, now I can collect them all over again, right? Like, why would you want to do that to yourself? Yeah, the fauna card. I've already done that. I'm, I mean, I've got a bunch that I'm, I'm really close on, but it's fine. All right, bye, ma'am. You take care of yourself out here, ma'am. She's like, go away. I already gave you stuff. Shoot. Oh, I'm so glad Charlotte's alive and she's doing okay. And in my in my RP world, Buell is her loyal horse and he's he's out there enjoying his retirement. And that's that's just what's happening. Alright, I am at this location by right on the railroad tracks over by the meteor house. And there is a corpse here. A fossilized man corpse. Some guy dead years ago, I guess, and now in the rock. He is. He is very much in the rock, John. <laughs> His, um, the way that he writes is is nowhere near as flowery as, as Arthur. Um, Rachel, are you going to be okay over there? Oh, wow. That is, uh... I'm not going to lie, that's kind of weird. All the hands. All like the spray painted looking hands. It's um I'm right here. At at Window Rock. And and we're going to inspect said painting. Uh strange statues. Okay, that's um What's the picture look like now? That's uh okay. <laughs> that happened. Hey, the Wapiti Indian Reservation is truly deserted and burnt out, it looks like. Oh, gosh. That is all the horrible. That, oh, so terrible. And I think, yeah, this is the Eagle Flies grave. Oh. We mark it on the map. Oh, we don't even mark it on the map. Oh, that's sad, but th that's 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 where it is. Oh, but it should still be on the map, in my opinion. Well, it may be hard to see and maybe hear, but they rebuilt the bridge. <laughs> I'm over by the Bacchus Bridge that John and Arthur blew up. And when I was fast traveling over to the Wapita Reservation, it took a like a, a little screenshot of the remnants of the train <laughs> and how it had rotted over the last, what, eight, nine years. Um, but I, yeah, they rebuilt the bridge. So the trains are definitely working again, but there is a corpse here. <laughs> is that a lady corpse? A barrel rider corpse. Yeah. Uh, you did not survive, ma'am. Found a dead body in a barrel. Some 
poor woman wonder why she did this glory loves stupidity all three is this the lady i wonder who was dealing with the brothers like did she uh, just um not not want to deal with it anymore i suppose or was she dared into it but let's see what the picture is oh yeah that's that's kind of sad here it is it's the moment my last dinosaur bone my very very last one I would like to thank the internet for all their assistance in completing this task. I've discovered, discovered all locations of the dinosaur boats, and I can now mail the remaining coordinates to Deborah McGinnis, the mini post office. Thank, thank you so much. It is done. <laughs> it's right here. That's the last one. All right. I am over here by my hobbit house into a very mysterious cave because there is supposed to be something in here to do. I am not actually sure completely what. Um, gotta say that's not actually what I was expecting. <laughs> that's a uh, strange statues. Didn't I just find a thing? Like, well, it was a while ago for me. It may have been mere moments ago for you. Strange statues. Yeah, there was strange statues mappy thingy right here. Um. Hello? Do I... Oh, I can push... Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh. Okay. And they all look the same. That's not confusing at all. Now, is it? So I need to click on... The statues that I have two fingers, three fingers, five fingers, and seven fingers. That's what the internet tells me. And even this website I went to was like, yeah, no one would figure this out on their own without help. So two fingers is here. I mean, that's really kind of creepy. Three fingers is supposed to be the one in the middle. No, not the one in the middle. The one behind the one in the middle. Here we go. Three fingers. Let's count correctly. And then five fingers. That one's not it. This one's... Okay, that's one, two, three, four fingers. That one's one, two, three, four fingers. Oh, no, wait, this one still has its thumb. So that's five fingers. Yes. And then seven fingers are supposed to be over here, I think. Okay, that was seven, even though it didn't have seven fingers. <laughs> all right, I'll take my prize for all the hassle. I don't... <laughs> it's, it's such a weird puzzle. Because, like, if I go to my journal... I don't want to go to my journal because then I'll lose my spot. But I don't feel like there was anything in that map on the wall that clearly explained this puzzle. But apparently you're supposed to... Click only on the statues whose fingers add up to prime numbers. They can only be divided by themselves or something like that. I think that's a prime number. Anyway, that 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 area is now done and complete. And I, and I'll be I'll be honest, I'm glad it's over with. <laughs> so I came to a fence here in the Van Horn Trading Post while doing some exploration, and he had satchels for sale. Fair and prices for fair goods. Yeah. And even not so fair goods. Exactly. And apparently the gold bars that I found with the ridiculous statue puzzle was 500 gold each or 500 gold, $500 each. So I had plenty of money to, to spend on all of these satchels. So I have, I have all the satchels. I finally solved the puzzle on how to expand I my inventory. Nobody's missing this too much. Probably, probably not. But the question is, is... Premium cigarettes, 20 of 99. I can buy so many more now. Ugh. And I can go and buy, I finally have money to go and buy more premium cigarettes Remember, to get like the, yourself, eh? hang on. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more cards, I think. Maybe eight more cards. I wish I could just specifically buy the ones I need, but I will do that if I can't find them. I'm almost done exploring, but not quite yet, but I have bigger bags now so I can 
get more stuff. Anyway, I need to stop dorking out over these things. I wish I could have gotten this one at Arthur. Oh, that would have been so amazing, but I probably had to do like special things to earn that or or provide certain ingredients to have those made and, and I, I, I don't got time for that. <laughs> so there's supposed to be something here and I can see the designs of something on the ground. I'm pointing at my screen like you can see me. But there's supposed to be designs of something on the ground and I wonder, do I need to go up to get a look at what this is? I'm assuming so because why else would you have random ladders? Because if there's ladders in the game, you're meant to climb them to get treasure of some sort, right? Is it like... Oh, I was gonna say, is it a crop circle? A serpent mound, apparently. Oh, here's the mound shaped like a snake. I don't... Oh, I see it now. Yeah. That's very odd. Cool, but odd. Oh yeah, this is the place where I went and got a bounty with Arthur. Oh, there's a gun here. Remember, you guys told me it's actually, there's a down somewhere over here. Aha! As I fall down. Down here is a gun. Ooh, and look, it's all glowy and stuff. Oh no, it's not a gun, it's a knife. Okay. Well, now I have a Civil War knife. Ooh, a letter? Oh, we'll take the nugget. Oh, we gotta inspect the document. Inspect document. No? Okay, we'll just go to my bag and read said document. An old note describing a Confederate attack on Fort Brennan during the Civil War. May 8th, 1863, Confederate soldiers under General Quincy Harris attacked Fort Brennan at night, climbed trees to fire down into the fort then battered and broke through the north gate. All survivors being executed and bodies burned. I am next. Oh gosh. First Lieutenant Roger, Roger, Ronald Alger. I'm sorry, Ronald. I uh, have reading problems. <laughs> but gold nugget. That's good, right? Oh. So I'm over here ish because there's supposed to be something here. And look, it's two graves. Oh, it's Hosea and Lenny. Oh. It's Hosea's grave. And there's maybe now there's Lenny's grave. Sorry, Lenny, I'm standing on you. Oh. Are we gonna mark it in our journal at all? No, we're not, but oh, we found it, finally. <laughs> Apparently the next thing on my list is another grave to visit. Who was this one? Oh, it's Karen's grave. Oh, that's right, because we were at Shady Bell when, when he came back, oh. Oh, poor Kieran. He was such a nice, not O'Driscoll boy, yeah, oh. Kieran. And here we are at my last dream catchers with the big lightning storm going on. <laughs> what do we get? <laughs> I draw something. Um, it, 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 it looks like a buffalo? A bison? Maybe? 20 to 20 dream catchers found. F1 for details. You've discovered dream catchers in the wild. Find all the dream catchers to reveal the secret within. Learn the ancient secret within the dream catchers. Okay, so there's something else I now need to do. Well, we are back in Coulter and there is supposed to be something over here for me to look at. Davy Calendar. I think that was the guy who died like in the first, in the first video or two of me playing this game, maybe. Oh, we're apparently we're doing the Graves World Tour while we explore. 
Oh, and it looks like this is the location of another grave, but whose is this one? Jenny Kirk. Somebody who died, I think, before the game even started, but was part of the gang. Oh, this is really sad. Poor John. He's this is a uh, not not fun stuff. And here is another grave. Oh, Miss Grimshaw. They did give her a lovely view. That is very sweet. Because she was shot and murdered by Mike up in Beaver Hollow. And I'm glad they did not bury her there. Oh, that is so... Again, more just random corpses on my map. This is not me. I did not do these things. <laughs> but I have two more places I want to go, and I'm going to save the best for last. But... You know what to do, Two girl. more, and then I think I'm done exploring for, for the foreseeable future, but we'll see. No promises. All right, my next to last place that I wanted to go to is in here. I don't know how I'm gonna get up here. There we go. Isn't this the toxic cave? That I did with um, Arthur? Apparently it's not so toxic right now for John. That's great. Um, there's supposed to be a treasure in here. Has anybody seen a treasure? Did Arthur already grab it when he was running through here? I could have sworn this is where Arthur ran through. I probably don't need my lantern because there's some people plenty of lives. Yeah, there's a painting. Some amazing cave paintings. Oh look, an ancient arrowhead. Dreamcatcher's mission mission complete! Hurrah! <laughs> I have learned the ancient secret within the Dreamcatchers, which was an ancient arrowhead, which I can no doubt sell for some unknown amount of dollars. Can I fast travel from in here? I can't. Yarn. Well, I've got one more location to go. And I, and I think it'll be a good one. A good one to end on. Oh, it's so beautiful. My last location I wanted to go to today. Oh. Pay in respects. Find the graves of each of your fallen companions. I didn't realize this was going to be a thing until I started Googling. And I thought it would be a perfect way to end finding Arthur's grave, which is, it's really beautiful where it is. I, I'm i so glad they put this in the game and now I'm crying like an idiot again, but um, I'm gonna end things here today. I have done so much exploration um, over many, many hours. There's a few areas that aren't explored, but I, I, I did go to the internet. Like, as a reminder, I did go to the internet for a lot of help on dream catchers and dinosaur bones and extra places to just go visit. And I'm really glad that I did that because I would never have realized, like I should have, but I would never have realized that you could go to all of the fr all of the graves of all your friends who had died. And I feel like that's really important for John to do in, in the epilogue. And I managed to finish Dream Creatures Quest. I need to turn in my dinosaur bones. I I haven't done any of the treasure hunting. And to be honest, I may not. I was gonna do it if I needed money, but since I found found that silly statue discovery puzzle thing, I, I really don't need any more money for the foreseeable future. So I I may not do that because there's a lot of bounties that I, I either have done or will do. It depends on when I put this exploration video together. Uh, I'm not going to do this exotics. I may not do shop robberies, but um, I do need to go see Evelyn again, but I will do that. I'll, I'll, I will have already done that or I will do that in the future. Again, it depends when I put this video up. But I feel like I'm going to skip over legendary fish, animals, 
treasure hunting. I would like to try to get the last of my cigarette cards because I'm down to like needing four. So I may need to go purchase those, but I feel like I've accomplished finding a lot of things in the game and I would like to thank the internet again for all of its assistance. But I feel like this is the perfect spot to, to end today and all of my rambling. <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.